What's up, YouTube? It's your boy C's back at y'all with another video. And um, I got my man Austin <laughs> back on Motherland's Realist. Um, we're going to pretty much um, talk about the takedowns in Capoeira because um, Capoeira also has takedowns in it. So I want to show you guys three lessons of takedowns. I don't want to um, put too much on y'all brain. You know, and, you know, for getting these takedowns, but the takedowns are very important. Just like anything, striking, taking down, flints, dodging. I mean, I know the old uh, traditional way they say is no blocking in Capoeira, but I'm sorry, I got to feel you probably need to throw some of them blocks coming from somebody that actually had some real world fights. Yeah, you're going to have to block. I mean, what you think about that? Man, blocking is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Getting hit. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, you can't dodge forever, man. I mean, unless you real good. <laughs> I mean, to me, I, that's the only way I see that working. But, you know, I, I've never seen that. So, anyway, uh, as y'all seen, like, on my other video with my cousin where I did the blocks. And like I say, no disrespect to the mestres out here. But I kind of feel like sometimes, hey, you got to use some of them blocks, man. You know, I mean, dodging all that's cool, counterattacking all that, I get it, but you gotta block. You gotta block. All right, here we go with the first lesson, which is called the uh, uh, hysteria. But um, what I had wanted to let you guys know is that when you uh, do the hysteria kick, it's basically like you're sweeping the leg. Like if it's like a circular kick, which you see a lot in Capoeira, or like a straightforward kick to the face, uh, you want to go for the sweep of the leg that's on the ground. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of how you could uh, sweep the leg with uh, the hystera. All right, here we go. All right. I'm going to show you guys the hysteria way. So here we go. Take your shoes off us. Do it on the mat. You just sit them on the side. <laughs> okay. Go on that side right here. So basically, what you do is. Let's say uh, you and a partner got genie, right? So, you're a genie. back. Okay, uh, and then you come forward. And that's the other here. Yeah. And then you step, parallel, parallel feet. Yeah. And then you come back. So, let's say, for example, if Austin is trying to throw a kick, all right? Throw like a side kick, Austin. See that? That right there. Is basically a hysteria. It's basically a sweep. So if I'm here, all right, throw the side kick again. So you want to take that leg from underneath. It. But you got to be fast, you got to be quick. That's why you got to keep playing the Capoeira games so you can make sure you get the technique down properly. All right. Let's see. And another one. Uh, it's uh, pretty much like if the leg is switched with the other side. Alright, how you doing? Like that. So, when you throw the leg this way, go off. Right there. And keep your hand up here. So, when you do the kick, it can drop. So, in other words, you can get off. Like that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just showing y'all the real, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody use it if they have that leg, you know, that's what you want to do. Alright, let's say they're doing a forward situation. Alright. Let's say you throw a forward kick. Throw a forward kick. What you want to do is, you want to make sure. Okay. Okay. 
So if you see him coming with a forward kick, with, with that move. Okay. You want to, while you're here, all right, throw the forward kick. You tag him. You okay? And what you're doing is, if they're like at a close distance, you want to just go here. They're a little farther from you, come here. Now, if they real far, you stretch the leg out more. And that's the three. Close, mid, far. All right. On to the next lesson. All right, YouTube. Um, I'm going to show y'all the next move which is called Toshura. Uh, Toshura is basically like a scissor, it's like a scissor kick. Pretty much like you could dodge with it and it's another way you can actually like set this move up. I'm gonna show y'all on this part. All right, here we go. First of all, when most people fight, they're gonna put one leg back, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they getting ready to go, you know? So what you wanna do is, if you see the person getting ready to punch at you, throw a punch off right here. When you get out the way, you take this leg, come around here, and then you want to drop it. Let's pull this down, sorry. <laughs> Just to make sure. Show y'all that real, you know. So in other words, right, do it again, Austin. Boom. Thank you. Come around. Yeah, I'm in place. Bang. Yeah, I'm from here. Flip off. So in other words, do it again. Boom. Right there, right something. And it's another way you can do it. Oh, put it, put it close. <laughs> okay. So you can also grab the fist and set that move up too. So if you here, grab a fist, you can come around here, or you can even hop with it. For some people, well, let's step up so here, put it here, grab it, grab it, like so, knee him in the face, boom. <laughs> How you feel, Austin? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I guess this man like God, dog, man. Yeah, you me as the punch of bass. <laughs> but hey, that's that real, y'all. You know, real fights, there ain't gonna be no mats or nothing. This just how it go. So, if y'all really wanna go ahead and get some stuff done, you gotta put in that work. You got to practice this move every day. Everything that I'm teaching you guys, start always from scratch, work your way on top. If you're a beginner, start off with the basics that I showed you, which is pretty much conditioning. Once you get your conditioning down, you want to go ahead and do, you know, your jingle. The jingle is, well, I told you Austin, the main foundation of Capoeira. You gotta learn your genius. I'm gonna get into some other videos. I'm gonna show y'all some more other type of takedowns that you could do. But and um, on, on the next part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use. Remember this move here. Stand, stand back, awesome, Sean. This is here the negativa. You actually use the negativa as a takedown. Cause a lot of people, when they see it, it look like you just 
He knows nothing. Right? But actually, it's, it's a lot of things. But that's the whole disguise of the style of Capoeira. Well, I'm gonna show y'all a little few secrets on the next part of this video. All right. All right, YouTube, I'm back with y'all. And this time, I'm going to show you guys how you could use the negativa into a takedown. All right, here we go. First things first. When you see the opponent, put the lead forward. They get ready to, you know, put the things at you. Pay attention to that. Because once you see it, you can drop it. And you kick them in place. Or kick them in the middle. <laughs> and they go to sleep pretty much. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> okay. I'm finna let Austin do me. All right. Put my leg forward here, Austin. So basically, take that leg here, put it that way. And then what you want to do, you want to take this knee. You want to put that knee right there on my thigh. So put that knee on my thigh. Timber, I'm dropping. I'm dropping like a pile of rocks. Feel me? <laughs> All right, do it again. Yeah, what the fuck you got? Know? <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. And you can do that. And let me show you something else. All right. <laughs> go ahead and get back in. Yeah, I know y'all. <laughs> but hey, that's that real though. No beauty contest here, this is just how I go down. So, the lid down, you come here, you see him here. Basically, you can even drop with it. Get it from here. You can football goal kick. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, that the, one thing about the streets, there's no rules to the streets. So, anything goes. That's just how I go. Drop him on the ground. Give him that good football kick to the face. It's a wrap. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, I actually found out that I actually showed you guys an extra lesson more than what it was. Um, the one where I was showing you on the very first part where I said that you put your leg up close where you got to measure your distance and everything. If a person's getting ready to throw a side kick at you or a direct forward kick at you, you pretty much, um, that's actually the ones up, the two that was up close was actually called the banda. The banda is basically like you uh, doing a sweep to the person's leg up close. But now if it's far off, the third one, that's called a hysteria. A hysteria is basically when you just sweeping their leg. Either way it go, you you sweeping your legs, basically. Okay, and um, the second lesson that I showed you guys was the tesora. The tesora is basically a scissors kick. The scissors kick is basically for just in case if somebody's trying to throw a punch at you or you could grab that person's punch and take them down and do a takedown move on them. And like I said, you know, throw a knee in the face or cartwheel off, you know, whatever. Or, hey, give them that good old football go kick to the face, you know. Hey, whatever, whatever you got to do just to get the job done, hey, that's what it is. You know, these, this here are the streets. This ain't tournaments. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. And last but not least was the name of that move, the negativa. The negativa was basically look like <laughs> pretty sure y'all seen on a lot of my old videos where it looked like I'm just playing on the ground. 
Nah, it's actually all part of the disguise and the illusion of Capoeira. It looked like I'm on the ground just doing whatever, but, you know, any good Capoeira will tell you that, you know, it's pretty much traps being set. So, yeah, um, I'm just showing you guys on the reel. Uh, this is what Capoeira is, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to um, also... On future videos, I'm going to do some more takedowns. And later on in the future, uh, I'm definitely going to do some sparring. But, you know, before I do that, I want to make sure whoever I'm sparring with is going to have some head gear and some body gear. Because the only way you're going to get better, um, you got to spar, you know. If you don't spar, how you know that that particular style or technique or whatever is any good? I mean, you got to get out there and, you know, you got to spar. You know, there's different levels of sparring, which I'm going to get on to a later video. But y'all just keep in mind, man, don't make it into no contest. Don't make it, hey, I'm better than this guy because, like, me and this man here, you know, he'll tell you, you know, like, I'm not doing this to be better than him or him better than me. We both students. We're a student first in order to be teachers. So, just don't take it like that. Whatever you do, just make sure you do it because you're pretty much trying to better yourself, not your opponent. If you could better yourself through your techniques, you could understand yourself better. It's not an ego. You can leave ego at the door. So, uh, this is what this whole martial arts uh, drill is, and this is the way I teach it. Uh, some people probably watch this video think otherwise. That's on them. But the way I teach it, you're, be you, you're going to better yourself through sparring and through practicing these uh, particular techniques. All right, y'all. I ran on this video enough, and um, I'll see y'all on future Capoeira videos. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.